What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul... S no! Get out of my face. A million dollars, you're a retard. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we uh, headed out from Violet City after getting Rock Smash and started making our way through the route towards Azalea Town. But we still got a lot more progress to make, and we'll probably not make it to Azalea Town in this video. I'm not entirely positive on that. But I don't think we will. I don't think we will. This isn't a good halfway point right here because of the Pokemon Center. But anyways, let's keep going. That bad is from Violet City. You beat Faulkner. Oh, wait. He's going to fight us. Okay. Is this a... Uh... No, this guy like birds. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. No, Cynthia. You're not going to be part of this. So we are going to switch. Let's actually switch back over to Oliver. Let's get him more of that experience so we can get him up to level 15. He's only three levels away after all. And Sand Attack, my favorite. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Stop. Stop. Don't. Don't. That actually, my moves are hitting. Okay, yes, good. That's better. That's better. You can use that. No! No, stop! Why? Why are you doing this to me, Pidgey? You brat! Ugh. So mad at you. I have to switch over to Jolteon after I eventually hit this thing. Are you freaking... Okay. I'm gonna give this one more shot. If I don't hit on this turn, I'm switching. Thank you. I mean, I'm switching anyway, but... Ugh. Now, now I'm switching after I kill the thing. Alright, over to Pidgey. Zip, you are up, buddy. And luckily, you are completely resistant to the flying moves, and also by far faster than anyone else. So, you should be able to do pretty well. Hopefully. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Stop the sand attacks! Gosh! Most annoying thing about fighting a Pidgey. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I just hate you. I really do. I really, 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 really do. Alright, now it's Spiro. Back to Oliver. He's going to kill this thing. I don't even think Spiro can learn Sand Attack. Instead, it gets like a Leer and stuff like that. So, just tackle it to death. Please! It's level 8. Shouldn't really be a problem. Just, yeah. Okay, three hits. So all it's going to take is three hits. That's a good sign. It's good news. Makes me happier. And that's it for you. Oh my gosh. Screw Sand Attack, man. Screw that move. Alright. Halfway to level 13. Well, clearly you know what your... I would hope you'd know what your weakness are, weaknesses are, bro. Alright, yep, let's rock smash through this. Good job, Cynthia. Add a girl. Alright, let's see. A shell bell. That actually is not a bad m m uh, item to have. Holy crap, at least this early in the game. I mean, it's not going to do a whole ton, but... Okay, let's give the shell bell to Oliver, which is going to be nice. Um, it's actually not going to be... The, I don't know if it'll actually be the best considering his HP, but... Uh, since we're using him, going to be using him a lot, uh, why not? So actually, in fact, speaking of that, we can... Well, actually, now that we're in this cave, I'm going to stick with Cynthia. No! Maybe I don't want to do that, though. Because it's rock types. Oh, well, there's also do that. Hmm. Dang. I'm entirely sure what I want to do. Golly, that's fine. Alright, well, I'm glad that didn't do a whole lot. Alright, well, these Zubat's freaking dead. Alright, so in this cave, uh, I'm trying to remember the Pokemon that we get in this cave. I know we get Sandshrew. 
Um, oh gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to definitely put up a rappel in here. Holy frick. You know what? No, I'm not even gonna fight you. I'm not even gonna fight you. I'm just gonna run. I don't like you. That's not what I meant to hit. Thank you. I'm gonna put up a rappel. So yeah, you can find Sandshrew in here. And I actually used a Sandshrew, um, in my leaf... I, I, I like Sandshrew. I like Sandshrew a lot. I, I use a Sand Slash in my Leaf Green LP. I think it's a very, it's not necessarily an underrated ground type, I think the one thing that Sand Slash kind of, that irritates me about Sand Slash is like, I would think it would be a little bit faster than it actually is. And that being said, um, it's, well, I don't know how to describe it. Sand Slash, it's good. I, I really am a fan of Sand Slash. I think, it, I think it's got some good capabilities. It's a very uh, easy to use Pokemon. It's a very solid ground type. Its base stats aren't the best ever, but if you really want a ground type, I'd definitely say pick what, up one of those rather than one of the rock ground combos. So yeah. And thank goodness for Bullet Seed. I know it's physical, which means it's not doing a lot to this Onyx. Speaking of Onyx, Onyx can be now caught in this cave. I briefly mentioned Onyx a couple episodes ago when we were talking about that trade we can make for the Bell Sprout. Uh, Onyx is okay. It's even when it evolves into Steelix, it's still just okay, being a Steel Ground type at that point. There's going to be a nasty Steelix we're going to fight later on in this uh, game, but until we, you know, I'm still not too concerned about it because I mean Steelix, it has potential to be good, but it's kind of hard to utilize properly, just because it's. Did I? I don't remember if I put on that repel. No, it doesn't matter. Um, but. I mean, it's steel typing is really the best thing about it, but it, its stats still just kind of suck because it's just so, oh, I'm all about defense and nothing else. Either way, bullets heat our way through this fight. The one problem with being a grass type, though, and having physical, uh, and having physical based attacks is that really only makes you effective on water. Uh, rock and ground are typically going to resist you pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, as opposed to water and stuff like that. Um, I mean, obviously not, these guys won't because they're deep, they're, you know, they're freaking, you know, it's double damage. And they just suck. They just suck because they're Geodude and they're not even evolved. Give me that level up. Give me that level up. Okay, maybe this one will give it to me. Come on, be higher than level 8. Higher than level 8. Okay. Never mind then. Ugh. That's fine. So we're really just using Cynthia and Oliver right now, which is... Uh, I can't really say that's a bad thing. I It's going to be nice having two Pokemon that are going to be able to get uh, the, that nice, solid gra uh, grass and water move. But we do got to work on the others as well. And they've got a little bit of a ways to go still. This guy looks exciting. So exciting, in fact, that I'm going to actually... You know what? Actually, let's just switch over to Glaceon. I, she hasn't had any screen time in a while. Let's go for it. I don't know who you are or what you have. But whatever it is, my Glaceon is going to tackle you to death. Crap, it's a Fire Breather. Are you, well, I guess it has a coffee. <laughs> it's like of all the things to switch to before going up against a Fire-type trainer, I switched over to a Glaceon. I didn't even know that was a fire breather. Are you ki- oh, You suck. I hate you. Oh, poison gas. Screw poison gas. We might have an antidote, but if we don't, this is going to be fun. It's alright. It's alright. Two more tackles. One more tackle. Get a little more poison. It's fine. Fine. That's all we need. Coughing, you're dead. Thank goodness. Alright. Good experience. I will take that. Ow. Alright. Coughing again. I'm going to keep you in, Nanani. And then what we're going to do is we are going to look through a bag real quick, see what I got. Antidote. Okay, do have one. Good. Meaning, I'm actually going to use a potion first because I don't want to get rid of the poison. Uh, because if I, because that will just allow him to poison me again. So, we're just going to do this slowly and steadily while preserving that one precious antidote. So I want you to get the experience here. 
uh, fully. I don't, I don't want to just share it. Ah, ha, ha. Way to pull through, girl. That's a critical hit. I love it. Beautiful. All right. Two more. Now one more. And then we'll be able to use that, that lovely antidote on Nanani, and she should be okay. Fantastic. All right, so that wasn't too terrible. And is that going to give me a level up? Indeed it is. Level 11. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Indeed you did, sir. Indeed you did. All right. So, let's get that antidote. Wherever it may be. Thank you. Perfect. And let's see. Hmm. I think I'll keep her out in front for a little bit longer. Why not? We're gonna need to, we'll definitely want to switch over to Jolteon and Espeon here soon, though. Espeon's really getting the shaft as well, but the problem with Espeon is it's probably the hardest of the six to use at the moment, just because it is, it's so, everything in the beginning of this game is all physical based, and Espeon is the worst physical fighter ever. It really is. It is just a terrible physical fighter, both offensively and defensively. And oh my gosh, that Slowpoke has got the most disgusting. You know what? No, we're just going to switch over to Cynthia and we're. No, not Espeon, Cynthia. And we are going to switch over to her and she's just going to bullet seed this thing into hell. Go. Go, my pet. Destroy. Yeah, that's better actually. And it's probably not going to kill it in one turn, but it might. Well, I don't know. If it hits four or five times, it might. Yeah. Oh, so close. Don't you yawn me. Don't you yawn me. That is not okay. Stop that. Bullet seed. And the critical. Good riddance. All right. That'll get Cynthia up to level 12. Give a good amount of experience to Nanani as well. And I'm going to have to figure out something to do with with Espeon, because as soon as she can get that confusion, she's going to be amazing. But until then, she is not really the best. She really isn't. Alright, let's use another repel. Get you over here. There we go. And I really should be using the touchpad more to navigate menus. That would be a lot easier. Don't want to go that way. So instead, let's go here. Grab this awakening. And out the cave we go. Oh my gosh, Route 33, all right, cool. And oh, there are two apricorns here, hallelujah. I am in apricorn paradise, almost, except for not, because it's, it's just double the apricorn. That's all there really is to it. And then we're on a raining route. Man, I wish I had some water moves. That'd make this so nice. Gosh, okay, so we got ourselves a hiker here. I'm gonna switch back over to Cynthia. She is going to bear the brunt of this fight because that'll be... No. There we, can I... There we go. Okay, <laughs> goodness. Couldn't freaking get the guy to notice me. Come on, senpai. Alright, Geodude time. Which means bullet seed time for me. Be relatively easy. And probably should just be, what, two, three hits? Three hits, okay. Because it is level 11 after all which actually might result in some good experience. Cool. Alright, Cynthia. Ah, oh, it's so nice actually having an elemental move. Thank goodness. Ay ay ay. So next, uh, Machop? Alright, actually this might be Espeon's time to shine. Just because she'll be able to resist this. Alright, Eve, let's do this thing. Now, if you, I don't know how long this is going to take for her to kill it, but we'll see. Oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. Oh, gosh. And that it still does a lot because her physical defense is just the worst. All right, I'm going to Tail Whip once. Maybe I should do it twice. Just see if I can help out a little bit. Oh, don't leer me. Don't you leer me, man. I ain't having none of that. Alright, tail whip again, and now let's start tackling. Uh, it's gonna hit me really hard here in a sec, I just know it. Well, if I can just wear it down. 
before it wears me down, I should be okay. Because, I mean, it's... Espion needs this experience, man. She really does. Okay, enough with the leers. You're starting to really scare me. Quick, Eve, you've got to kill this thing. <laughs> it's going to karate chop you and you will die. It'll he karate chop your freaking head off. Uh-oh. Oh. That wasn't the worst thing ever? Okay, hopefully this tackle kills my chop. Please? Oh. I'm just glad it used Leer, but oh. That was heartbreaking. Had all my hopes up and everything, and you just let me down. You really did. Alright, my chop, you're dead. Sick of you. Give me that good experience. How much is that? Oh! Beautiful. Indeed I do, sir. Indeed I do. Uh, I don't usually go into town. I bet you can go all kinds of towns in journey. You know, if we were tree farmers, we could get all kinds of information. No, thank you. Yeah, please seclude yourself, you forget. No, I'm just joking. I'm not like that. I'm not that mean. Actually, we're about to get into Azalea Town, aren't we? Yes, we are. Woo. Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Oh. Ow. You... You asshole. I'm gonna kick your butt later. Alright. Well, now that we have arrived in Azalea Town, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.